Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. Um, on this day, 26th of July, 189 years ago today, so in 1833, on the 26th of July, one of the greatest achievements of Christianity took place. Basically, William Wilberforce had been campaigning against the slave trade for most of his life. Uh, the sla slavery, you know, when, when Jesus came to earth, slavery was part and parcel of human life as it had been for thousands of years. Almost every society practiced slavery. And uh, it was, people couldn't even conceive of life without slavery. Uh, it was certainly in the Roman Empire, it was interwoven with the very economic and social fabric of the empire. The Roman Empire couldn't exist without slavery. And yet, more and more, Christians had come to realize that how wrong it was that if people were made in the image of God, then it was wrong to keep another human being as a slave. Now, it took a long fight. Uh, the slave trade was abolished in 1807. Now, the slave trade, of course, was capturing, kidnapping, stealing, uh, abducting people from Africa and then transporting them across to, to North America or, or the Caribbean or somewhere else where they would labor as slaves. Now, that was abolished back in 1807. But even though the slave trade had been abolished, slavery was still legal and, and those who were already slaves uh, still continued. They weren't freed just because they'd stopped shipping people across from Africa. And so William Wilberforce kept on campaigning, kept on crusading, and he was seriously ill when he heard the news on 26th of July, 1833, that at last slavery had been totally abolished within the British Empire. And uh, he said this, thank God I have lived to witness this day. And he actually died of, of his illness three days later. But he died knowing that he had achieved his lifetime ambition. Now, most of the civilized world followed. It took a while. Uh, Br Britain outlawed slavery in 1833. The United States did not outlaw it until 1865. Other countries took even longer. But today, we live in a world where civilized countries and democracies do not permit or practice slavery. Sometimes, now dictatorships do. When you get nasty dictatorships, whether it's in uh, North Korea or wherever, under the Nazi regime, for example, uh, un under the totalitarian regimes in the Soviet Union, slavery did exist. Uh, but thank God, generally throughout the world now, most people realize that slavery was an evil and that it was good, that it was abolished. It's not just Christians who believe that. I mean, most everybody except a few totally right-wing lunatics recognize that slavery was evil and what a wonderful thing it is that slavery has largely been abolished. Now, criminal slavery still takes place. By that, I mean not where it's carried on legally, but uh, through, for example, people trafficking and uh, uh, enforced prostitution through illegal activities such as that. Uh, there is still some, there still is slavery taking place, but, and we, and we need to keep campaigning against that. And Christians and all people should be working together to put an end to that. But nevertheless, legalized slavery is now pretty well across the world, except as I say, in the odd uh, rotten dictatorship is now, outlawed and recognized to be wrong. And that is a great achievement. You know, it's, it's not just that people kept saying, well, the Bible says, but Christians were able to frame the argument about the dignity of, of each human being and the dignity of human life in a way that Christians and non-Christians alike said, let's remove this evil of slavery from our societies. Uh, you, we need to have that influence in so many other ways to see evil and exploitation and greed and oppression removed from our societies. But today, 26th of July, is a great day to remember that great achievement of the Christian gospel when it was evangelical Christians worked together with people of all faiths and no faiths in order to see slavery abolished. And may that be, uh, may that be give us hope for what we can achieve in other areas 
in the future. May God bless you today. Join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drahada.